Hey, yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Young Casey Veggies, and you're now tuned in with HipHopWire.com. What's going on, everyone? Chris of Hip Hop Wire here. Today is another installment of Games Rappers Play. We're sitting here with the one and only Casey Veggies, representing Englewood, California. He's going to talk to him a little bit about some cultural things. His upcoming album, the title is Undisclosed, but you know it's coming soon. Look for it in the spring. Well, you, know, like you see a lot of the talks about things like police brutality and just like the, the, the killings of Eric Gardner. Um, killings of Michael Brown, mm. all these people. Like you're from a place from LA, so you're from a city that's kind of known, that's kind of known to have like a, has like a history of like police brutality and all that. So exactly. just like, do you see anything changing with that in your hometown? Do you, is that something you can still experience? Cause essentially like you're at the age that a lot of them dudes wasn't far off. Like, yeah, for real, so you know. I mean, you're right. I mean, that's why I, I gotta stand for that type. I gotta like, I gotta, represent the youth, you know, that's why I always try to represent the youth, and I do, because like, that could have been me, you know what I'm saying, I haven't walked home from school plenty of days, you know, we got to make better examples, you know what I'm saying, and um, just try to think, be smarter, you know, think twice before we try to talk back to these cops and stuff like that, because we don't, we don't do nothing for us at the end of the day, you know, we just got to be smarter and like stand up for it in a smarter way, but not by doing the same thing that got us there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, so another thing I always wanted to always wanted to wonder like what it like what are y'all gonna do with the brand in the new year? Like it's like you said you have a hat come with the yeah. album. I do it had to be something to come along with the new music, yeah. like some type of pairing of the brand. Definitely man. I'm uh working on a new line for it right now then I'm just trying to keep it pushing man. Like definitely do some dope merch for the album, dope uh, designs and stuff like that we're working on. And then just doing stuff with the brand that we haven't done. You know, we've only done like certain type of things so far. So I feel like it's a, it's a wide scope of stuff we need to really step into. But um, at the same time, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to do like a female line for the brand. I want to do different stuff. I want to make bags. I want to make shorts, you know what I'm saying? Like just different stuff we haven't really touched on. I want to really like bring it all together because I feel like the brand is just, it's, it's much bigger than what we've done so far. Just the whole scope of it. So. I just want to continue to grow it, you know what I'm saying, and uh, do different things with it. Um, one of my favorite songs last year was The Boy. It was rumored that the record was supposed to feature Drake. Yeah. That's what that's what Twitter was saying. Um, yeah. Was there any truth to that initially? I mean, yeah, it really, it's, it was it was truth to that. Um, Drake had played the record at, uh, actually in Chicago. He played the record. And um, yeah, he was supposed to get on the record. He was feeling it, you know what I'm saying? We chopped it up. Me and Drake talked about it. He was really feeling the record. He was supposed to put it out, you know what I'm saying? But Stuff didn't go as planned, you know. I think, you know, we ended up doing other things. Uh, his album came out, you know what I'm saying? I put the record out because I just I ain't gonna hold on to this record. I want to put it out to the people. Yeah, I saw you um, on Hot 97 the other day. You know, you yeah. spoke with Rosenberg about your, the backstory you and Jay Z meeting yeah. when you was young, even how your lives are kind of interconnected to your pops being a yeah. little security guard. Yeah. But um, that was you at 17, meeting them around, watch the throne. Like, what's your relationship now since you know like, you've been so much more? It's more like, I'm just like, we, 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 I'm, I'm doing me, you feel me? Like I'm working and then I ain't really expecting nothing from nobody. You know, I'm just more like focus on my career, focus on the album. And then, you know, whatever comes from that, you know, that's cool. But right now we just, it's more of a like, you know, I see you do your thing, you know what I'm saying? Like it's one of them type of situations, but. Right when the album's gonna be the full movie, could you give kind of a trailer right now, just the vision of where you're trying to go for your debut? Yeah, I mean, I think the debut is just talking about, you know, where my life is at now, and not even just my life, where I just wanna like explain what 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 I see, like what comes from life changes, what comes from the, the, the business, you know what I'm saying? The amount of success I've been blessed to have, you know what I'm saying, in this and what I've what I've been able to learn, you know what I'm saying, what comes from that and um, all the just you know, all the things that come from the growing pains of life, you know what I'm saying, becoming a man, you know what I'm saying, trying to realize what you really want and who you really are. And I think that's what my album is. It's just like an inspirational piece. I want to inspire kids all across the world to feel like to feel like they can be somebody. You know what I'm saying? That's the goal. You know what I'm saying? By April, the album should be here. Like, what do you kind of see happening for your year? Since like you know you got the piece and carrots, brand, you got the album. There's so many different ways you can take it. Like, what do you yeah. kind of see for yourself in 20? Just like uh, enhance everything we've been doing, man. Just try to grow. You feel me? I don't want to stay stagnant. You know, keep growing with the brand, grow with the music you know, be on higher platforms and just keep pushing this shit, you know, do tour around the world, tour, you know, I gotta go overseas. I ain't never touched overseas. Like, you you know, I gotta hit London, you know, certain areas. And just keep pushing this movement. I feel like it's a lot of stuff I've done, but 
it's a lot of stuff I haven't done yet, you know what I'm saying? And even with the movie thing, like that was a quick role, you know what I'm saying? I was dope. And I just want to continue to, you know, try different things. Trying to figure something out. I'm trying to figure something out. I'm trying. I'm trying to get the W. Last time I played checkers, I got the quarter L. I sacrifice. Sacrifice. I think that sacrifice. Sacrifice. Yeah, I fucked up. Yeah. Straight right. like that. Mm -hmm. Now, straight like this. Wow. Uh, uh, yeah, he like, you can double that, man. King, King me play, you won. King me play, boy. Say you won, huh? <laughs> yeah, you can rap Damn. Damn. Once again, it's Chris of Hip Hop Wire here. Thanks for watching. Games Rappers Play. It's kind of been a draw. He's King, I'm King. This cool, though. We're going to double it back when he comes back to New York City. But you know, hopefully, you got some dopeness out of the interview. Appreciate your time. Have a good one. Hey, yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Young Casey Veggies. Make sure y'all check out this exclusive interview and many more at youtube.com slash hiphopwire.